everyone, welcome to the Z Stream. Today I have a quick tutorial for you on how to make your own um, furnace recipes for Minecraft Beta 1.5. Um, yeah, I'm going to assume that you already have Minecraft Coder Pack set up, as I usually say. But if you don't, click on the link now for either the Mac version or the PC version. So, for those of you who know what you're doing, to make your own furnace recipes, it's uh, it might actually be the exact same as before, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to just make a new tutorial. You basically just navigate to furnacerecipes.java, and you open it up, and, un and right here you see a list of furnace recipes. It says add smelting, block.wood.blockid, new item stack, blah, 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 blah. And this is how you add your new furnace recipes. So basically, like, a furnace recipe is what you put into the furnace and you cook it and then it comes out with something, for those of you who don't know. So this is how you add one. I'm going to say added recipes. And then you type in add smelting, capital S, bracket, block dot. And then here you put um, you, you put what you want to put into the furnace first. So I'm going to say block dot dirt because that's easy to test. There's lots of dirt lying around. And then you have to say dot block ID. Okay? If you want to put a block into the furnace, you have to write block dot and then whatever you want and then dot block ID. If you want to you put an item such as fish into the furnace or raw pork, you have to put item dot and then whatever item and then dot shifted index instead. Okay? So there is a difference between blocks and items as usual. And then you do comma new item stack item dot and then now you put what you want to uh, result from cooking uh, from cooking this item so let's say we want to result in a diamond yay and then you put two brackets and a semicolon because that's how Java works okay and we're gonna save recompile oops open up my terminal Okay. If you guys want, I can I can show you how to make a server mod. It's actually not different from making a regular Minecraft mod. And I know a lot of you have been requesting for how to make mods that are compatible with Mod Loader, and I will work on figuring that out because, to be honest, I've never even used Mod Loader before, so I have to figure out how it works, and then I will figure out how to work with it. Okay. Oh crap. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to get down to the ground. This is a diamond from my previous tutorial. Oh, oh, ah. Okay. Go over here to my crafting table. Oh. Oh, darn. Oh, are you kidding me? I just realized I need a furnace. Okay, I'll fast forward. I'm going to make a furnace. Okay guys, I got some stone, so I'm going to make a furnace, like so, there, and now, I will, oh I don't need that, I'm going to cook a piece of dirt to prove that my recipe works, yay, okay it's cooking, it's cooking, Rearranging the molecules in dirt, and it forms a diamond. Yay! Anyway, so, the mod is working, and that is how you add your own furnace recipes into Minecraft. Thanks for watching, guys. As I always say, if you like these videos, please subscribe. And I'm coming up with a bunch more. I need to figure out how to add your own items into the game. Like, I know how, but um, I'm trying to figure out how to add your own graphics. But as soon as I figure that out, I will make a tutorial for you guys. So, thanks for watching.